Welcome to episode 6 of OS First Timer Advanced. In this episode, Diana will be trying to make her own 2D animation using Pencil 2D in Pair OS 8. Can she animate great or will her creations skew out hate? Keep watching to find out. Here we are on the Pair OS 8 desktop. Its appearance is very similar to the Mac OS X desktop with the Bitten Pair logo at the top left corner of the screen and the dock with the Mac-like icons at the centre bottom of the screen. As Mac-like as it appears, it is simply just an Ubuntu-based Linux distro that runs software made for Linux or Windows if you install Wine. This version of Pair OS was released in 2013 and was the last version of Pair OS to be released before the lead developer from France posted the following message after handing over the project to a larger company. Its future is now in hands of a company who wants to remain anonymous for the moment. The concept has pleased them and now wants to continue and improve the system for their own products. I cannot give a name, but it is a very large company, well known. Anyway, let's get to animating. Your task is to download Pencil 2D 0.5.4, which just like Pair OS 8, was released in 2013. You must use it to create a 2D animation that shows a stick figure first waving his arm, then kicking a ball. Pencil 2D is not currently installed on this machine, so first off you will have to go and download it from the Pencil 2D website. Okay, well I've got to clean my pair at the moment, so I'll clean my pair another day. What do you notice about this whole pear thing? What's it reminding you of? It's like Apple, and so now they've got a pear. Yeah, so like <laughs> up here you can see this little bitten pear logo at the top, just Instead like the, of bitten, the bitten apple. apple You've yeah. got the docks here, and the icons look similar, right? But this... very, it looks very Mac-like, actually. Yeah. Um, it doesn't get bigger and smaller though as you put your cursor yeah, on it. Yeah. In your terms, it doesn't get very excited like the original <laughs> Mac. Um, anyway. Can you now go and download Pencil 2D? If I'm going to download, I'll go to Firefox. Yeah. If it wants to open. Well, generally it does want to open. Well, he just wants to bounce. Oh. <laughs> that was scary. Boom. Wow. Okay, so how do we get him doing? Maybe we might have to... He's not in the mood today. I might have to kill him first. I, I don't know what happened there. I should Trust me, usually... Wow, that's a lot of Firefoxes. Usually this doesn't happen. This is just some technical difficulties. Trust me, Pair OS is quite stable. It it does work. It's just it just doesn't want to work when we're demonstrating how stable it is. Yeah, I think that's called our um, Murphy's law. It works every time until you show it off. Yeah. Okay. What's happened? It's just lost. Oh, we're gonna have to reboot. It's just lost its X buttons and stuff. See? We're going to have to reboot. How did it do that? It just, it just really messed up. Did it, when I cleaned my pair, did I clean all the X buttons? The, the black screen of death. No, this is just the reboot screen. Oh, we're off to a great start. No, you've done this just because you wanted to demonstrate what, what the system looks like as it's booting up. It yep. just It didn't want a, you to miss out on its login That's right. system. This so is what it go. looks like. So put in your password. So can you now start off and download Pencil 2D? Okay, let's go into Firefox. So I'm just going to Google search Pencil 2D. Download. Perfect. Is this the correct? Who knows? Or is this one? Click on what you want. Well, I'll click that one. Oh, wait a sec. That one has the word download in it, so I'll do that one. Okay. <clears throat> so I want to download it. Um, download. The main reason I'm getting you to download is because I want to show you what it's going to be like mm -hmm. to download this on a Linux-based system. Okay. So, oh, it wants to update. What do I do? You can do what you want. Well, I don't feel like updating right now because okay. I want to do Pencil okay. ID. Pencil ID? <laughs> oh, Pencil 2D. <laughs> pencil so. identification, the identification system of the future. Pull out your pencil and it'll be scanned. So we've got Pencil 2D. Um, oh, that's for Linux yeah. and I'm assuming we need that because yeah. it's for Linux. Why were those two in in blue and the other one was sort of greyed out? Links that you've visited before generally turn a certain oh, colour. I, I so pre-tested this, yes. Okay, so I know I'm in the right place because you've gone yeah, to Because I've been here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I told you to get 0 0.5.4, version 0 0.5.4. This is a 64-bit Oh. operating system. Oh, actually, I can see you went on to this one because it's greyed out, so I'll go on to that one too. Okay, so am I going to You can do what save. you like, you can save it. 
I'll save it now. Or download for done, so you've downloaded it. Now, where are my downloads? You've got to find them. Files. It is on the dock somewhere. Files. Pencil 2D. There we go. Okay, install package. Oh, it doesn't take long to... Yep, it's done. So you've downloaded and installed it. Great. Now, why would they want me to remove it or reinstall it? Remove it if you don't want it anymore, or reinstall it if you think it didn't install properly and it's a little bit broken. How will I know until I test it? Okay, so you're ready to test out Pencil 2D. Okay. Where is your list so, of applications? Well, there's no list of applications there. I don't know where it is. That's a launch pad. It's not there. If you need some help, you can use up one how do I. You've got five how do I's. I know. Let me look at system settings. Oh, while we're here, how about we change the background because this is a little bit boring. How do you change the background? There's a way. Aha. Uh -huh. I like that. So I'm going to select that. And there we go. I just changed the background. That's nice. Ah, oh, now where are the applications? I feel it's it's got to be here somewhere. There's two simple ways that I know of that allows you to access them. Oh, look, how do I find the applications? I've downloaded something. I have no idea where it's Okay. Is. Like the general Mac system, you can actually click in the search bar and simply type in what you want, Pencil 2D, and it'll open it right there. Oh, okay. Um, but where um, is it exactly? An Just other that. alternative is you can go to Launchpad. And your oh, applications that's are also the, here. In the launch pad, okay. Okay, so I'm in Pencil 2D. Are you finding this pretty easy to use? You downloaded a program off the internet, clicked in install. It's and, pretty easy, you know, except... You wouldn't have thought of that search thing at the top. Yeah, yeah. Normally I, I would seek out a search bar okay. and do it, but that to me, it was sort of hidden up there and I didn't By the quite way, see if it. you quit this program, mm -hmm. this will no longer appear in the dock, right? right. It'll disappear. Sure. Do you know a way that you might be able to keep this little pencil 2D thing in the dock when even when the program's quit? Keep in dock. Yep, so what I did was I right program, clicked yep. I right clicked on the icon, then I selected the keep in dock. Yep. Keep in dock. Yeah. And now it's ticked off to yeah, show you. Perfect. So that means if you were out of the program. Yeah, it's still there. It's and still I can there. Just go and you to can put it, it wherever away. you like. And then when you want to use it, click yeah. it and you're in. Yep, perfect. Okay. Now so you've got to make a stick man yes. that waves and then kicks a ball. What? This is a very, very basic 2D animation program. How will I get him to move? Okay, well, first of all, let's You get want to draw him. So you've got a pencil so. and the colour is black. Oh, he's a bit wobbly. And there's his one arm. Oh, that's another one. He's got a bit of a giraffe. Oh, he's got a bit of an alien head. He's got one leg. Oh, I don't like that. Can I have a rubber? Where's a rubber? I need a rubber, quickly. <laughs> Eraser. Yes. You don't use the word rubber when Americans like are watching. I don't like that. There we go. I rubbed out. You part did of that on seat. purpose. I did not. Oh, look at that. He's got. <laughs> It's just very hard to use this mouse to make a stick. Now, just that's note, better. if you were on the surface, you could be doing this with a pen and just draw yeah. with a pen, okay? Okay, so now let's give him a couple of little feet there. Remember, you're going to be animating this, so... Yeah, okay. Um, shall I do a face? It's up to you, but the more you do, the harder it's going to be to animate. All it you looks need... like he's got a nose out there, doesn't it? All you need is a person that waves and kicks a ball. Oh, let's not have him with eyes then. Yeah. He makes yeah. It. Okay, goodbye eyes. He's closing his eyes. There we go. You can put as much detail as you want. Don't let me stop you, but it'll make it harder. Okay. You know what I mean? He's ready. So he's got to wave. He really needs hands to be able to wave, doesn't he? Well, I actually, the description is oh. he's got to wave his arm. Oh, wave his arm. Okay, yeah, so, so his arm's okay. his arm would go up and down or... Yeah, yeah, I'll just make him a bit longer so that he's got longer arms to wave. There we go. <laughs> Imagine having those short little arms that don't even go down to your I hips. Know, I know, Like, my arms go down to half, like, uh, you know, below my hips. He's, okay. He's like... There From his elbow down, he's been chopped off. There we off. go. He's got very long arms. <laughs> now he can swing them about. Okay, now. How are you going to make this do something? I wouldn't have a clue. Now, just Bitch. know, with modern cartoons, they wouldn't use yeah. something like this. You yeah. see? They wouldn't use this 2D animation. There's something, I think, Toon Boom Studio, something like that. Yeah. That's what the people who make The Simpsons use. Mm. And they've got systems where you just talk and the lips automatically animate based on what you're saying and things yeah. like that. Yeah. This does not have any fan features. This okay, this simple. has a start and play and all this sort of stuff, but how can we get him to do all 
that stuff? Do I just tell him, wave your arm? What do I do? <laughs> well, it's not voice activated. I wish it I'm was. Afraid. It should. That's how you can improve this, is make it voice activated. <laughs> wave your arm. That would be and then, <laughs> then it would wave its arm. Make our job a lot easier. That would be a really good program. In, in more advanced 2D animation software, it's actually as simple as just grabbing the bottom of the arm and moving it up and down with a mouse. And but that, I can't do this. You can't this, do it with this. This is a very simple one. It's free as well. So. Okay. I wonder what happens if I click... I'll click at one, because that's, that's him there. Bitmap layer. Yeah. So let's just... Oh, no. He's gone. He's absolutely gone now. Or maybe he was a different layer. Notice maybe what you're doing. As you're clicking each of them, it's either turning that colour or that colour. So maybe if you simply untick them, there he is. Yes, but he's now got a weird thing around him. <laughs> Oh. Now, what are you going to do? I wouldn't have a clue. If I knew what I was going to do, I'd do it. Okay. Animation. Wait a second. Um, next frame. Well. Do you want to, how do I? I want to do the next frame. I'm assuming that I keep, oh, but that would be hard to keep drawing him. Or maybe I only rub out the portion, like rub out his arm and slightly raise it and then draw that arm slightly raised and then keep doing that for each frame until he's actually waving. Yeah. Duplicate frame. But I keep going to next frame. What do you think duplicate frame would do? You can give it a go if you want. You haven't done it. Okay, duplicate frame. Oh, so this is number two. Oh, so okay. you feel like so you're in number I think, two. I think I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm in number two now. So, if so you think what I'm going to do gonna is I'm going to rub out that arm. Oh, I like how the rubber works. That's pretty good. And what I'm going now, to do... Now, what you're seeing oh. there... Oh, that there is where the arm is in the previous layer. Was. Oh, yeah. I see. So what I will do now, I'm going to draw it so it's slightly raised. Yep. yep. So that's frame two. Yep, I'm happy with that. So do I save that, I wonder? Well, you I actually, just go... it's probably a good idea that you do save this just in case it crashes. Well, let's just go to duplicate frame. I'm okay. So, so at the bottom, you'll notice now that your frame... Three. That? Three. One, two, three. Three. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Now, what I'm going to do, rub it out again. I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Oh, that just confuses me when it reappears. Now, let's make it... Whoops. Oh. You can press play. You can see how it's going to look. No, I'm happy. I'm happy. Animation. Okay. And it's also got frame. F6 there saying if you just press F6, it will automatically do that. But I'd prefer you not to because I think it might mess up the recording. That's fine. There we go. Oh. There we go. So let's have him a bit higher. Okay, now up a bit higher. Okay, he's a bit higher now. Going to a lot of work with this one, I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing a lot of frames. Duplicate frame. Okay, well, we want him to wave properly. Okay, so now... That's You've already done eight frames. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, wait a sec. He's got rubber. That's high enough as a wave. And then he can sort of wave like that. Yeah. Between those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's do, I think that's enough waving. How would you now play this? Um, doing that. Okay. Oh, that's what? it. That's, now, why has he got two arms? Notice what's happening. It's still showing that previous layer underneath. How why would you turn off it? the display of that? How would you turn it off if you wanted it off? But I, it should automatically turn off because I rubbed it out. What's happening is no matter what layer, if you go to any of these frames, you'll see that that one is always underneath. You yeah. see? So how do you just turn off that feature? Well, how do I know what it is? Is it a vector layer? You can use a how do I if you like. Okay, how do I turn off that layer? Examine, oh, wait a sec, examine, layers. No, 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 no. Examine the display options Where are area the display on options? the right hand corner of the screen. Yeah. Oh that. Oh what's it doing now? Onion, Onion skin. skin previous frame and that's activated. Onion skin next frame and that's not activated. So not activate this. You've already done it, see? Oh. So if you press play now and I'll put it on repeat for you. Do you like your animation? One way it could have been improved is the problem is when he gets up to the top, his arm just kind of shifts between two different locations. Yeah. You could have done a few more frames so it looks like it's actually moving rather yeah, than yeah. shaking. But he still looks like he's waving. So that's fine. Yep. He so still now, looks like it. So now, continuing on, he has to now kick a ball at the end of this. Oh, gosh. Okay. Animation. Next duplicate frame. 
So he can keep his little yeah, arm, arm up there, up and then there, he's just got to kick care. a ball. So, we're going to make a ball up here. Are you going to have it in a special colour so it's not all black? That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm going to have a red ball. So, I'm going to make it just... And you're going to use oh, a pencil? I would like to make it just roll in, but you know what? That wasn't part of the task. Why make it difficult? Big ball. And, wait a sec. Paint. Red. Ah doesn't want to do it maybe it needs that fill it up there we go okay so we got a red ball so let's go to the let's duplicate that frame and let's make his leg go a bit more towards now remember it. you now have turned off that feature where it shows you the previous frame oh so if you want to turn that feature back on I do actually so you can see what's going on yeah thank you <laughs> so keep rubbing it okay Oh, you're drawing. Oh in no! Red. <laughs> I didn't want that. I didn't want that. God, that's terrible. Oh jeez. Um, yeah, we want a pencil, but is the pencil going to be red? No, no it'll be black. That's good. <laughs> I'm going to draw it close so that it's it doesn't look so choppy. Yeah. Okay. Duplicate frame. Oh, his foot grew a bit. Doesn't matter. Does this remind you back in the um, 80s and 90s when people used to go to the side of a book and just draw each frame of an animation and then flip through the book? It's like a little flip Yeah, it does. Thing. I used to do that at school. That's actually basically what this program is based That's off. That's fun. Although you can obviously see that they don't use this technique in creating cartoons of today because imagine how long it would take yeah. with The Simpsons, for example, to draw over and over and over again. Oh, this is going to take me forever. <laughs> I'm going to have it so it's... Ah, uh, but how can I now move... Get the ball. Get the ball up. To... Oh, don't tell me I have to delete the whole ball. Can't I just move, pick it up and move it across? Technically, you can. Well, can I? You would have to find out how to do that, though, but using those tools that you have available at the top... Let's have a look. All those move! Things. That! It won't move. Do you want a clue that tells you how to move it? Yeah. Okay, I mean, not a clue, a how do I? Okay, how do I? To move the ball... You must first use the selection tool to highlight it oh, and then that's use the move tool. Is that the to selection tool? Yes. And then move. You didn't highlight oh. it properly. Think of how you highlight a section of something. Do you just click on it or how do you highlight a section? Oh, wait a sec. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I understand. Oh, no, but it's going to move his foot too. Can't it be a round selecting thing? Not in this program. Oh, it won't even do it now. Wait a sec. Okay, so, I wanna, so I've selected it. Oh, You unselected it. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have made a square ball. Oh, you know what? what? I really do wish I'd made a square ball. Okay. But it's now too late now. You can now put it where you want. Well, I don't want to put it there. It's very um, laggy, this movement oh, process. Oh, it's really laggy. Oh, just look, note it's that just going to have to go this, there. It's not that the program is laggy, okay. it's that it's in a virtual machine. That's what's okay. actually making it laggy. So that's where it is, but you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to delete that little bit of foot because it just looks ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's... No, he could have maybe have kicked his shoe off. Oh, wait a sec. I forgot what I did now. What? So I moved... Is this the next frame or what? Remember, the onion skin is showing what I know, the I know. lower frame is. Okay, well, I'm going to have to just get that little bit of red back there. Yeah, and you use a pencil as opposed to a paintbrush to do it. <laughs> it's okay. doesn't matter. Okay, animation, duplicate frame. Rub out his little foot. As if he's kicked and now he's putting his yep. foot back. And now we're going to move it. That'll do. And now I have to draw his... F oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I keep making mistakes. I'm going to rub that out. That's not good. <laughs> the onion skin strikes again. <laughs> So he's still yeah. picking his foot out, is he? Okay. Yeah, because that's how the ball's going. Can I just say, to make it a bit easier, I would simply rub out the ball and then just with this tool, paint a new one just up here. It might be a bit quicker. Oh. You get it? Rather yeah. than doing the big move process. I that tool too. is just so slow, you know what I mean? Yeah. And this you just go... Like, you know... With a black ball. <laughs> it's a magical ball changing colour. Gosh, the ball's getting bigger as it's being... <laughs> As it's going up in the air. That would be painful, kicking the ball like that. You'd <laughs> almost break your ankle. 
That's bad. That's a shame. You can't just grab it and move it. That would be well. That's the modern modern program stuff. They do have the ability where what you do is you click on frame eighteen, for example, mm. then click mm. on frame thirty six, and then you just drag the ball to where you want it in thirty six. Oh. And what it'll do from eighteen oh. to thirty six, it'll just fill out all the positions of the ball that's in between fantastic. those frames. Why didn't you get me to use that program? Because I'm using a very simple one. Those are quite complicated. They like you know. In other words, you can't do stuff. them. <laughs> no, I can and I could but they cost money oh. so it's mainly the I'm trying to go for free stuff here see okay. you get what you pay for okay not making red little mistakes anymore it just looks so it's been worse and worse do you want to have a little look at what it looks like no no I just want to finish it then have a enjoy what it looks like you know what I'm going to do next I'm going to get rid of his Foot from there and I'm simply going to bring it down gradually because he's let's make a proper <laughs> he broke his leg <laughs> that was one big kick so so much for gradually that'll do and then um, rub out and you notice the more, the more frames you kind of draw between each thing the more smoother the animation looks you gather that don't you yeah and it's gone up higher it's getting even bigger now <laughs> I tell you what frame. would be a funny thing is the ball gets so big it just swallows him up. It grows and swallows no, him up. No, 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 no. So the next frame, he can still be just looking at it. So what we're going to do is just get rid of the ball yep. and higher. It's getting even bigger. <laughs> <laughs> How big is this ball going to get? Just wait. We'll see. Yeah. It's massive. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of those exercise balls now. A well, it's shape. a magical ball. There we go. <laughs> Is that it massive? Oh, you know what? What? You want it to Actually, explode? Actually, no. No, 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 no. I don't want it to explode. I know what I'm going to make it do. No, no, no. It's something even more fun and different. <laughs> more fun and different. There. Gone. What could be more fun than an okay. exploding ball that swallows somebody up? Wait, it gets squished on the top of the screen there. That's a bit of a quick squish. There, that's okay. And then... I'd do a few frames in between that if you're going to do something like that. No, no, that'll do. Duplicate frame. Because technically he has kicked the ball already, so I've done it my job. It turns into a cloud and now it's going to start raining. It turns no. grey and it rains. Sort of disappearing out of you. How would you make that brush smaller if you wanted to do it even thinner at the I, top? I don't know. There is a way to do it. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah, wait. I'm just going to do paintbrush. No, the, you are using the paintbrush, but yeah. there's options for the paintbrush that make you be able to make it smaller. Okay. The thickness. Where are they? I don't know. Do you want to use a how do I? That's okay. We, we just make it shrink to, to there. That'll do. <laughs> and that's it. Now I'm going to play it. He's waving. He's... Oh! <laughs> and we can put it on repeat yeah, yeah, like yeah, this repeat, and you can watch repeat. it this and you can see good. how it goes. Here we go. Yeah. So he waves, Whoa. kicks the ball, waves, <laughs> kicks the ball. Flashes up into the sky. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's great. That's really So you good. could go into a massive amount of detail. If you were a yeah. fantastic artist, you could make something quite You, you know, really could do looking. something so good. But this good. is just something quick you made in 20 minutes. Yeah. No, this is good. Okay, done. Um, if you wanted it to play faster, how would you make it play faster or slower? That's a loop. Yeah. Oh, does it have sound? Can we put the sound on and see what he says as he's doing it? No, no, you'd have to add sound effects <laughs> to it somehow. Okay, frames per second. I'm going to make it less frames per second. And, and what would say... that do? Would that make it slower or faster? Slightly slower, yeah. huh? Because less yeah. frames per second. It's showing yeah. nine pitches every second. So wow. if it was 30 frames per second, it would be much quicker. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. I'm happy about that. Okay. Yeah. And if you turn it up really fast... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the funny dance. The dance of death. <laughs> yeah, okay. I've had enough now. Okay, so what do you think of this program? Well, I did it. It's good. It's good, but there are improvements. But for a basic free program, yep. it's great. But, um, yeah, I think the more advanced version where you're actually able to grab objects and move them is better. Yep. Just note there are quite a lot of options here when it comes to colour, for example. Yeah, I know. You know, you could modify, put... That's just a green. Put a little bit more blue in there, and then it turns into that colour. Oh, wow. Add a little bit more blue, and it turns into that. Wow. Add a little bit of red to that, and it turns into this. And you can really, if you put lots of red in it, yeah, you yeah, see? Yeah. And if you put l lack of green, 
you see. Well, what's the point of have, selecting green if you don't want any green in it? And you can even do alpha. And let's say we had a bunch of green and blue. Mm -hmm. You can have alpha and see how that's transparent. Oh, that's really interesting. So you can do quite a few things in this. It's not as simple, even like um, feather on the side. Yeah, so yeah. let's just say um, it wasn't transparent. You could have a colour like orange, but then have it soft oh, and feathery. Wow. You see? That's interesting. It's almost like it's not really there. It's in dreamlike. That would be good in like dreamlike yeah. things. Yeah. So it is, it is a bit more advanced than you were making it out yeah, to be. Yeah. But it's at the same time... A 2D animation group of people making professional you know things would not use this. I could actually have fun with this. Yeah. This is good. It is more and of I a kind it. of a fun kind of thing rather yeah. than a professional thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, and overall, what do you think about the operating system as well? Does it function well, look nice, or what are your thoughts on it? Or is it absolutely awfully designed, the icons look blurry and out no, of No, 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 it's What's fine. Your... And I like the fact it does have the little describing thing at the top when you yeah. go over it. <laughs> Even though I, d I couldn't find where to launch the... It sounds logical, launch pad that's would launch you... a program yeah, yeah yeah but i just wasn't do you like the way the programs are displayed in launch pad yeah i do actually yeah i mean they're all out like that yeah yeah that's right another thing so. um tell me what you think about this uh this is another kind of thing that mac does as well so you'll have a little notice here if you put your cursor, let's say you've got a bunch of windows open and you're like, oh, things are overlapping Can each I other. Can I just say something? Just one thing. Yeah. See how you've got automatic cleanup? Yeah. It's not really automatic if you have to select it to do it. No, you just click scan. Because if it was going to be automatic, you don't have to, you wouldn't even have to click it to do it. It would do it automatically. <laughs> don't you think? Well, yeah. Uh, internet cleanup. That's a good idea. Clean up what's on the internet. No, that's just your basic... Well, here we go, I've done a scan and it's found that much space is being wasted in this kind of thing that you could easily just get rid of, you know oh, what okay. I mean? And then you go clean. And then it... But you have to type in your password. Yeah. And tick, it's clean that, and it's still cleaning that. Oh, it cleaned them both. There we go, yeah. It cleaned them both to the point where it got rid of everything. Is that what you wanted? No, get rid of the... That, that just shows you stuff that can, like, you know, wasted data, wasted oh, okay. space type okay, thing, okay. you see. Let's say you've got a bunch of programs open like this, as well as, say, um, a calculator. Mm -hmm. And you think, oh... I've just got so many things open, I don't know where to access it. And you think, oh... What you do is you put your cursor to the top corner of the screen. And oh, it shows them all like wow. that, and then you can click on the one you want to get to. That's pretty that. good. See? That's a Mac kind of thing as it well. It is, actually, yeah. yeah. And, and this operating system does look very Mac-like to me, actually. Now, at the beginning of the video, I told you what happened. The developer said a big company that wishes to remain anonymous, but it's a well-known company, wanted to buy this off them. <laughs> mm. Who who do you think it may have been? Mac. You think Apple may have done it? Because remember, the developer that made this, this is gone. This operating system isn't available anymore. Yeah. It's been wiped. It's not being worked on anymore. 2013, it was gone. Do you have any idea of what company may have bought this off them? That person who was developing this completely for free. A company, a company took it off their hands type thing. Well, a big company that is well known. It wouldn't be Apple. Said, Why would Apple anonymous. buy a pair? I think Apple is big enough, it, it doesn't need a pair. Well, some company has done it. You think maybe Apple is thinking, oh no, I'm worried about this, but I, I guess in the, I don't think I guess in the comments we're going to have a bunch of people saying, oh, it's Apple, it's this company, it's this company, it's, yeah. you know. But anyway. But if they're anonymous, then nobody knows. How about the company that did buy them out? They can leave a comment and tell us. <laughs> that would actually be quite optimal. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next episode. See ya.